in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 25th of may thursday of the 7th week of easter world thyroid day that is what we celebrate today may 25th is dedicated to thyroid patients and all who are committed to the study and treatment of thyroid diseases worldwide the decision to commemorate world thyroid day on may 25th was made in germany in 2007 on may 25th we remember saint mary magdalene of pazzi a carmelite virgin born on april 2nd 1566 the future mary magdalene was given the name of caterina at the time of her birth she was the only daughter of her parents at a young age caterina was drawn to the holy eucharist and she resolved to serve god as a consecrated virgin after she received her first communion at the age of 10 In 1582 Caterina entered a Carmelite monastery when she received her religious habit the following year Caterina took the name Mary Magdalene on May 27 1584 she made her religious vows while lying on a pallet near death when she recovered Mary had an extended mystical experience lasting 40 days and involving extraordinary experiences Mary Magdalene died on May 25th 1607 after suffering an excruciating illness for nearly 3 years she was canonized by Pope Clement the 9th in 1669 Saint Mary Magdalene of Pazzi pray for us Brothers and sisters now we focus our attention on the gospel text of the day A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter seventeen, verses twenty to twenty-six. At that time, Jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven and prayed, saying, "I do not ask for these only, but also for those." who will believe in me through their word that they may all be one just as you father are in me and i in you that they also may be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me the glory that you have given me i have given to them that they may be one even as we are one i in them and you in me that they may become perfectly one so that the world may know that you sent me and loved them even as you loved me father i desire that they also 
whom you have given me may be with me where i am to see my glory that you have given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world righteous father even though the world does not know you i know you and these know that you have sent me i made known to them your name and i will continue to make it known that the love with which you have loved me may be in them and i in them the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ they are your gift to me they are your gift to me even though it's may try to imagine it's christmas eve a father sits by the christmas tree struggling to assemble a bicycle for his son no parts are missing but it takes work to fit them together the tires need air the frame of the bike needs polishing and the chain needs lubrication but the father is happy to spend all that effort he knows it will be worth it when he sees the look of delight on his boy's face on christmas morning john's gospel tells you today that you are a gift from the father to jesus what does this mean most obviously it means that you are precious and valuable to him that in itself would be enough to ponder for quite some time but let's not stop there it also means that just as you are a gift to jesus so is every other person we are all gifts individually and we are also and no less importantly a gift as a group it may not be the most perfect analogy but the body of christ is like that bicycle the father is putting together there are many parts but together they form a precious gift that god delights in giving to his son jesus sometimes when we look at our parish all we see are unrelated parts spread out all over the place there is social justice ministry there is pro life ministry there is saint vincent de paul there is icym youth movements how will we ever come together how will we ever become so united that we form one people singing to the glory of the lord it may seem impossible to us but not to god like that father on christmas eve he won't stop working until all the pieces fit together perfectly god wants to bring jesus joy by giving you to him as a gift of inestimable value but he also wants to bring jesus joy by giving him the entire church indeed all of humanity united in love let's join in that mission by echoing jesus own prayer that we might be brought to perfection as one let's find ways to work together so that we can bring a bright smile on jesus face father make us all one amen brothers and sisters now let's pray the responsorial psalm your response preserve me o god for in you i take refuge 
Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, You are my Lord. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. You yourself who secure my Lord. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord before me always. With him at my right hand I shall not be moved. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my flesh shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to hell, nor let your Holy One see corruption. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand bliss forever. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Novena Prayer to the Infant Jesus In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To be with the children of men is my happiness, says the Lord. Jesus lived among the people as a friend and helped them in their needs. He healed everyone who had faith in him and came to be known as a spiritual physician. Here, represented as a child, he stretches out his helping hand to all those who have recourse to him. The more you honor me, the more will I bless you, says the infant Jesus of Prague. Let us pray for our intentions. O Holy Infant Jesus, through your life on earth, you reveal to us by many marvels your hidden power. So now bless us abundantly with your uplifted hand and graciously deign to hear the petitions of those who call upon you in faith and trust. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Infant Jesus, bless us and hear our prayers. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Infant Jesus, bless us and hear our prayers. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O infant Jesus, bless us and hear our prayers. O miraculous infant Jesus, look upon us as we turn to you, imploring your assistance in our needs and anxieties. Let your compassionate heart be moved to pity by our supplications and grant us the favor which we ardently implore you. Free us from all affliction and despair, all trials and misfortunes. Give us your support and consolation, good health and happiness, so that we may praise you and the Father and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Thanksgiving Prayer O most generous infant Jesus, we on our knees before you have come to express our deep thankfulness to you for all the favors we have received at your hands. We believe, Jesus, that together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you are our Creator and Savior. Henceforth, we place all our trust in you. Through this miraculous statue, may your devotion be spread throughout the world and may all people pay homage to your holy childhood and gain thereby untold divine blessings and favors. All praise and honor be to the infant Jesus. Amen. Let's pray for God's blessing. May the Lord Jesus be with you to defend you. May he be with you to sustain you. May he go before you to show you the way. May he follow you to guard you. From above, may he bless you with the Father and the Holy Spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays, especially Clancy Cardin from Kandivili, Mumbai, Florence Pacheco from Mira Road, presently in Dubai, Jaden Francis Lobo from Abu Dhabi, Raya Masquerinus from Bengaluru, Flossie de Souza from Udyawal, Lavina Andrade from Gurpur, Kaikamba, Sivrin Dantis from Paladka, Zion Fernandez from Kirem presently in Kuwait. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. Herald and Lucy de Souza from Ferrar, Mangalore. Joseph and Clara Helen Rodriguez from Belvai are celebrating their wedding anniversary today. Congratulations, dear friends. May God bless your family life. And we pray for the departed soul of Lawrence Ruzar Rodriguez from Kodani, Pannawal. May the Lord grant him eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.